Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. But first my coffee. This is in my Pelotonia mug my cousin had made for us. And that's my cousin and it's when we ride Pelotonia. I'm not sure, oh 2016 this mug is from. And it was my cousin Debbie, my brother Jay, and I wrote it. That was the last time Jay wrote. Hi, Dubs. You here to say hi. <laughs> Mr. Man is very happy today. I found a food that as long as his allergies are good, he's really liking this dry food. Um, I used to give him Purina Beyond, and he didn't really care for it. He ate it when he had to, but it really... I never really saw him eating and I was getting worried he was getting skinny. Now, trust me, he eats enough treats and wet food, but still. So I did some research and I pulled up some lists and I grabbed a bag of the Purina One Sensitive Stomach and Skin. And it's pretty basic. It's turkey, some rice, some vegetables, and then they add some vitamins, and I think there's a little bit of probiotic in it for their tummies. And he seems to be tolerating it really well. And it's tiny, little um, kitten-sized food almost, which I think is easier for him to digest. He's always had a sensitive stomach. And later in life, he developed some asthma that I'm pretty sure is like food triggered. Um, some treats he was eating was causing it in 20. 18 he was in the vet three times that year getting steroids and antibiotics and it was pathetic um and then we switched up and started with the different treat and he in 2019 did not have one episode so i don't switch his food around i don't usually switch his treats up um i did try a different brand and it didn't work out so well he started wheezing and coughing and i said oh no sir <laughs> we are not going down that path again so I just stopped him immediately and his allergy stopped immediately. So we did good. All right, let's show you what I got. First things first, guys, I'm telling you right now, if you have a littles, like grandkids, little nieces and nephews, this might be the time to start grabbing some Easter basket stuff. I'm not really centered here. Is that better? <laughs> um, and I'll show you why. First things, my coworkers, little boy, he's about three. And he's starting to learn puzzles. And can we talk about the black cat and the puppy dog? So I grabbed this for him. Um, just for him to play with. It's nothing crazy. But this is a Greenbrier product. And it's one of those puzzles that come, you put, build it in the frame. And I just thought it was adorable. So I grabbed that for him. But wouldn't this be great in an Easter basket? And they also had alphabet ones. But I wanted the pets. So I grabbed him that. Then I found at my store, and I got these for me because I think they're adorable. They're called Zoops, and these are a Hasbro toy. And um, I haven't figured out how they work yet, but I'm pretty certain you put them on like a bracelet or something, but I'm probably just gonna sit it on my desk. But I grabbed this white one, which I want to say is a unicorn of some sort. Do they have googly eyes? Yes, they do have googly eyes. And then I got the penguin. Like these were a dollar. How cute would a couple of like these be or one of these in an Easter basket? That's what I'm saying. Or Valentine's Day. But I just think this is super fun for Easter. So we'll get that going here in a minute. And as long as we're on that track, I found these. Sketch art. Do you remember, if you're my age, I would have been in like, oh, sorry, first grade. And we would color piece of paper and then go over it with a black crayon and then you would scratch scratch away the black that's what this is how fun would that be and there's 50 50 sheets in here and the little scratcher pencil that's going to be super fun for some person that enjoys like art or something different and it was one dollar so that's going to go into my i think that would be great for easter um i picked up this for me <laughs> <laughs> it is a um, manuscript tablet to learn how to write your letters. You know, we've all seen these little kid paper. I'm learning how to do hand lettering because I want to be able to make for my bullet journal like fancy words and stuff. And I thought this is the perfect paper. 
for that. And I will include this in my stationery haul that I'm hoping to have up this week because I got all the stationery. Um, oh, and the last little toy thing I got, I don't even know what Bendy is. I'm going to have to look this up. But it's a little blind bag and it's collect all six and there's bendy alice angel warts the wolf i don't know a wolf I, I don't know what these things are but i thought they were cute and i'll take it to work and maybe raffle it off to one of my coworkers. and it looks like they're compatible ouch, they're compatible with um legos they also had Barbie blind bags. Again, perfect Easter basket or Valentine's gifts. These little blind bags. I did the NFL one on my last haul. I mean, it's time to like really start looking at this stuff if you want to put it together before, you know, everything gets crazy. And then the last thing I thought would be great, I found these again in my store and these will definitely be in my stationery haul. These are Mr. Sketch scented crayons and we are going to review these too. I mean, I can totally smell them and they smell like fruit um, because this was a doll. It was not, obviously it's not a Dollar Tree product, but it's Dollar Tree. Easter basket, guys, coloring book, crayons, a little toy. I mean, you could put together an awesome coloring or Easter basket for just a couple dollars and then get some candy. Get up, buddy. Um, I, well, I'm sorry. I grabbed one of these. I'm pretty certain it works. I think my bath my tub is getting slow and i'm thinking there's probably hair down there so we're going to check this out i don't really want to use like drano or something so i thought this if it has like teeth on it and you feed it down and pull the disgusting stuff out we've all seen it so i got one of those and this is rooter brand drain rooter core pacific ink not a green briar not that it matters but it's a drain cleaner. I wanted to do a little quick review on these clippers. These are for cat claws. I mean, maybe birds. I don't know. I, they, they were marketed for cats. Um, and I literally just clipped my cat's nails with these. And they do a fabulous job. For $1, they don't squish the nail. They clip the nail. And I'm almost going to go thinking I need to buy a couple more pair to have because I know if they start getting dull then they will squish the nail and not cut it and cat nail my cat nails are clear and he lets me do it I've been doing it for years and I used to use baby clippers because I was like I don't need anything special but you really do and he tolerates this much better the baby clippers he really just wants to play with them I thought I would just give a quick review because I bought these at the Dollar Tree and I keep them down here on my end table. So like just a minute ago, he was laying on my lap all happy and purring. And I said, oh, we're going to clip those nails because he has been not scratching me, but they were long. And then on the cat front, I found them. The blow pop and the bubble gum. And listen, okay, we're, we're not doing that. What do you think, Dub? What do you think? Um, these are great. They are really tough quality. And I'm going to assume that Luna is going to end up playing with them, the dog. So I did grab two because she will love these. And I might save them for her Easter basket. <laughs> Apparently I'm obsessed. But these would be perfect. These are perfect size for a little Chihuahua. And she is a Chihuahua. Um, and then I'll let the boys play with them too. But they have the little ribbons. And you know these two don't play with toys, right? Okay. Here is Alex. Oh, there you go, buddy. You sit up here. You sit up here. You say hi. No? He said, ma'am, don't manhandle me, please. Here you go. <gasps> Do you say hi? Yeah, you want to say hi to the people? He is so big. Um, the other kind of good thing about the new cat food, he doesn't seem to care for it. So I don't anticipate him, like I saw him over there eating a little bit of it, but he could care less about that other food. Um, so I will just continue to buy his food for him and Wellington's for him and they obviously cross over, nobody cares. Who eats what as long as they eat something and Wellington is the one. Um, this is Crinkle Sound, Cat. oh, contains catnip compared to some, oh, that's Spanish. 
girl. So these are stinking adorable, and I'm keeping, probably keeping them for Easter baskets for Luna, the doll, and the boys, because they don't, none of them need toys right now. All right, and then I just have a few more household items. I picked up two of these. Um, and they even come with screws, guys, to put on my front porch to hang um, hanging baskets outside. And I thought, for a dollar, this is, I mean, it's very sturdy. It's going to hold. Drill it right into the side of my molding outside. And I'm trying to figure out maybe putting one inside, but I'm not 100% sure yet because, you know, I'm obsessed with spring right now. And so I grabbed two of these while they were in stock. And I'm definitely, definitely putting one outside on my front porch because I just think that would be so pretty. And then I'm trying to figure out a place inside that I might want to hang one. Um, and then I got some householdy stuff. I first picked these up in a the haul. These are the Scrub Buddies reusable wipes. They're just like polyester. I'm very certain this is not cotton. Doesn't tell me what the ingredient is. But these are for heavy duty, hard to clean jobs. What I use these for, this specific ones, and then I picked up the Lysol brand, which is a name brand to try, and this one comes with six. Um, but what I do is I get the Murphy's oil soap oil and like this um, cedar chest. I have end tables, a TV car, I have a lot of wood. My kitchen table is solid wood and it's time to oil it. And I'm gonna pull this one out because these feel super nice and I may need more of this in my life. Oh, that's really soft. And I think that this is super thick. This is gonna be the perfect thing to oil soap. And then I can just toss it because it gets kind of gross with the Murphys. But I need to clean and oil the wood furniture so it doesn't crack. And I try to do that late winter, early spring. Um, with the heat being on, the wood gets dry. So I grabbed the Lysol brand and the Scrub Buddies brand. Like I said, I grabbed these first and then I saw these. I mean, I will, either one can be utilized for that purpose. Really any purpose, but when I'm using a cleaner or a, like an oil-based something and I don't really want to wash it and keep it around, that's perfect. And it's this one I feel like is cotton. It says odor resistant, anti microbial protection of the cloth it says use and reuse more than 20 times lysol brand doesn't say the fiber content but it says rinse air dry and reuse do not flush in the toilet don't flush it down your toilet people it'll clog your plumbing so they tell me i'm like who's gonna mistake this for toilet paper i don't know but that's gross. Oh, great for kitchen counters, dishes, appliances. And I have stainless steel appliances. I definitely need to go back and get some more of these. Okay. Am I crazy or what today? I picked <laughs> three more of these wires for gnomes and whatever. It does, you know, for all the things. But I thought for a St. Patrick's gnome, I could make some glasses like mine in green. Um, the purple is just to be hidden, and then the gold for, like, all the things. And then the last thing I purchased, guys, look at this. It's a fleece scarf, but can you say St. Uh, St. Patrick's? No. Fourth of July gnome hat with some red socks and a white beard or white girly braids. I thought that was totally adorable. So we're going to keep that for summer. And now, I am on the hunt, and maybe y'all know where I can get one inexpensive. But I was at Michael's, and in their home decor for $24.99, I don't care if it's 50% off, they have big old carrots in their spring. But what it is, is a Christmas tree shaped foam that they wrapped in orange rope. And they had one that they wrapped in orange burlap. And then the end are like paper leaves. I need them make those. But I keep checking the Dollar Tree and we don't have, I think it's a Christmas thing. So I guess I'll have to go to Michael's again or Joanne's and look in their section. But look for a DIY on that because I'm not spending $24. I'm not spending $12 to wrap a foam tree in rope and call it an uh, Easter egg or a carrot. 
no but they are pretty hefty in size and they're super cute but yeah again no <laughs> all right guys well you got to see both boys today and a dollar tree haul so i hope you enjoy and i'm hoping and i'm shooting i guess for thursday i have a whole bunch of different pens to try out and notebooks and paper for a stationary haul so let's see what pens are worth the dollar all right guys i'll talk to you